Rotunewenal, Rotunewenal 2020. Lidi na nara niyak, kana ni seti? Senu dabo, party leader ku UDP. Koko na moy bayi politician si. Hey Ahmad party, party leader ku GMC. Ah, sante kadu magbangi ni. Musaya le pachili, party leader ku ga. Action ma, mom si ay action dek leader. Bakari JJ, nyugen ko hame si bakso si APRC. General Lamin Bojan. Nangka, wah nangka, si yoy leader. Musu bako to sawo, tiara si tepeti executive director. Madi Jobate, the human rights activist. Tafai dok nyaktu, ha nyaska ma agala, bora mami ilimani, kinga hamna nak, nyasian la. Binta, bora mkot and fit tailoring. Pasan eksponi transfer nyolen indil hewal buriare jebal leko cipta baski banyak digmal lagi seimbok aksa ay am di jam menel layon ne khalis bayeko fufucha Europe US Canada wala Switzerland tegun cipai darap wow wow leko waral moy bota iyo ne kay khalis begina maga cip Gambia nyolen ko indil gauna warna napalena te amul ben jafe jafe bichinek kona yen bokui ak am di jamai jaratut ngen di khalat ci bolen di yonne khalis fi ci bir rewi gambia bayeko fofu ci europe us canada wala switzerland ci tebeski bi ñoy digmal saytalen ñu ci google play store wala apple store ngen meuna am suñu app bi di supersonic money transfer app ndax ngen meuna xewalu ci xewal bi ñu len indil Dola la linga mom, super sonix, sumo tebas kiren, neekh na. Good afternoon to wherever you might be. This is your favorite show, The Celeb Crib. The Celeb Crib is all about your upcoming celebrities. Do you wonder what your favorite celebrities do during their day or out of their professionals? I'm Mariam Sisa. I will come here each and every Tuesday to bring you your favorite celebrities and what they do out of their profession. What yet is the coronavirus. I forgot to remove my face mask. Stay protected, stay safe. If you can stay home, stay protected. Of course, it's your favorite girl, Mariam Sisa. Come on, come on. Sasuna Rexen Celeb Crip Show will be here each and every Tuesday to come here on Talents TV. As you can see, Sasuna Rexen favorite celebrities will be here. If you know how to do it, you can see it on TV or you can see it on TV. But I'm going to be here in the middle of your profession. Who is the one who wants to do it? 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 Tak nak gan lalen amal, gan boh haman ten mui produce music you beri, gan boh haman ten mom si boh pam dewi, gan gan boh haman ten mom si boh pandai fayo compose as song. Jaya walau nyonya ko jaya life, kon boh lumayan defrek mui duga si finger haman ten music you si ad jaya life, you nuneh ke, kon boh talk pale masian dom sen hari di maria abis sah test mui kamera pas mui duga finger haman ten mui ada masuk as always, kon boh malen talk pale mui si bi. Anything that you want, I'll give up to you. Yeah. When I 
your favorite celebrities do out of their professions I'll bring you their life I mean their normal life because you being in your profession and you being out of the profession is two mm -hmm. different things right okay so you are so fancy yeah, uh, Assalamu alaikum thank you everybody for watching this your boy J Life musical you know I mean, you know what I mean? So anyways yo I'm um, um, thanking everybody you know you know what I mean right, for you know watching me you know what I mean right. but anyways thank you for watching the show. Okay, J Life, before going further, tell us the background information about yourself. Uh, the general information is that I am me and I'm I myself, and we are what? J Life. Tell us who is J Life. Uh, J Life is a normal person, you know, I mean, just like you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you know, J Life is me, mm -hmm. and I am J Life. Okay. J Life is him and he is J Life. Okay, yeah. I am Mariam and Mariam is me. So J Life, tell us something about your educational background and take us through your schools that you went through. Um, my background. Uh, that's a long story, dal. But let me cut it very, very, very gutter. You wanna understand and comprehend for some guy Francis. Uh, anyways, um. Uh, from northern school or mm. from primary school? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Mm. Okay, let me say, um, people will say I'm not Ghana, but I'm Ghana. Okay. Anyways, um, I was born in Cameroon. Okay. And I arrived in Gambia when I was two years old. Okay. That was in 1998. Mm. So since 1998, there's no school in there, everything. Mm. So uh, the first school I went to, was new life, mm. uh, physical and like body kind of thing south. That's where I did my kindergarten, primary school. I think you know started digging up, but then got, they transferred me to so, um, SDA. SDA, then I digged it up. Seven days Adventist. Mm -hmm. The nice friends, the such a mango, yeah, they don't want to get And the worst thing also they did, uh, the worst thing that happened, that happened also. They were like, they were like I'm strong headed, so I have to go to a school where one of my uncle is. That was uh, Serekunda school. <laughs> I became worse there also. Mm. So my, my mom was lecturing, was teaching French back in New Life again. Mm. And they took me back again to New Life. So I'm not digging for me. So when I went back to New Life, so the control was there. So, mm. you know, try to like that, you know. In the daytime, you know, you act, you know, send in night time, you act like a bat. Mm. So um, from there, I went to. School of many, 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 many call it school of swag. Yeah, school of swag. Actually, that's school you can do anything you want to do. Okay. So, we're going to a so we're going to a musician, so we're going to a basketball player, football player, anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the other schools, but SS, no problem. School no, of swag. No problem, like anything. Mm -hmm. So, I can see uh, from SOS, I went to GTTI. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways, in SOS, I was doing arts. I wanted to do science. But uh, and then, you know, you know, I mean, word, blah blah blah, you know, mm. you know, you know. So I, I did arts uh, because I just wanted to do arts. So um, when I finished from SOS, um, then I went to DDDI DG and studied electrical and electronic engineering. Mm. When I finished electrical and electronic engineering certificate, then I went to study A plus in lasting solution. Mm. Then lasting solution, that's when you know, music be. Monaco GTI, I sell a music video. No. And from Lasting Solution, Kaboom. To music, street. But still, Alda. I was doing psychology online. Mm -hmm. I was doing um, computer science online, web page development and application also. Mm -hmm. And also social, social media marketing also. 
I was doing most of the those courses online. Okay. Yeah. As he said, it's a long story, but he got it short. I thank God that he got it short because if he, he have to say all the story, I think it will be end up. If he did, <laughs> you'll be sleeping, the cameraman right there, you'll be handling and you'll be hearing on the camera. <laughs> Jelaf is something else. Okay, Jelaf, tell us what is your favorite food? My favorite food? Okay, you might think it's something extraordinary, but I like rice and beans. But the rice and beans has to be special. Okay. Rice and so beans. Why I you know. Maybe if I can find another chip, you know, see my if I find some exotic bunga, the kumulo toga. Yeah, we need. I'm going to get some. i If you know, you can cook rice and beans. Jela is here. Send invoice. <laughs> send it to me, and I will do the interview. Yes. What if you want to receive no, my invoice? No, I, I, I will do it. Let me just do it. Huh? If you know that you can cook rice and beans. Rice and beans, I mean, special one. j -Live is here. So, j -Live, uh, what is your favorite sport? Football. Football. Soccer. As you can see, my remote control is here for PlayStation. I was a footballer before, but then there was more tanker than me. Before I was more tanker than me. Okay, well, I give up. No, no, no. Ah, I don't want to keep myself. If I want to fix that tanker, I'm going to fix that tanker. I'm going to fix that what a budget we are going to buy football. I'm sorry, I get near the massa tank of Yankee football. I cannot afford to lose my feet. I know you respect it a lot. Okay, Jelly, what is your favorite color? Black, as you can black. see. Why black? No, black. It's just like I don't black. like white. That's why I mean, I'm going to tell you more. <laughs> so you just like black? I just like black. Oh, that's really nice. Black. So what's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit, orange. Orange. Saranto. Saranto. Um, yeah, let me say saranto because mango is a bit. Sour or loss? Sour nasi, but mm. I like oranges. More. Yeah. Oranges. More. So what, I mean, who is your favorite artist? Miss Jobis. Miss Jobis. Favorite yeah. song? My favorite song is not yet out. It's, in it's not yet out. It's in her album, but it's not yet out. Okay, I'll be waiting for that favorite song yeah. by Miss Jobis. We did that song a long time ago. But, but it was um, not out. I don't know what I, what was wrong with me. I delayed the song and said I would be complaining. But at the end of the day, hmm? my little. Hmm. So, where is your favorite chain spot? I mean, the place that wherever you are, you feel relaxed. As you can see, you're in, you're in my chilling spot. Studio. My studio. I have my TV, I have my game, I have my Wi Fi, I have my laptop, I mm -hmm. have my keyboard, I have my drums. You know, apart from here, I can say beach. Beach, beach side. Beach side. Yeah. So. Jari plus you. So much you if you money for that. So much you for your money. So much that. That's nice. So JLF, can you kindly take us back to your childhood days? My childhood days. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, um, I can say I grew up in a family of four. Jari go, Jari jige, and now I'm the last born. Oh. Um, a lot of people know my elder brother, Danny Constant, from okay. Monaco, Taube. Okay. And growing up, I grew up in an environment of culture. Uh, I was I was staying in uh, I stayed in Talinim Farokono, but before I got to Talinim Farokono, I was in Joswang. I went from Joswang, New Joswang, to different different places, mm -hmm. and most of the places I stayed in were so cultural. That's how I picked up a lot of culture when I when I when I arrived here as a kid. Mm -hmm. So I picked up all of the culture. Culture is what say be mandinka be every gamari dem barsa, dem bar to gay sar sama tab bi dorma. In the end of the day, guy jema mama malente gan malente te gan bosti gan guy di feja guy di well, and they and they are singing and all of that. So lo me thing bi so, um, growing up, started playing football. Well, well, because my brother was playing football too, so I said, okay, I'm going to play football. And um, it got to a point that, you know, 
I started my guy guy. I would go for a week and then smart tank of you. This funky like what guy the most smart tank of you or anything. So I was like, ah, because of why? I cannot come here and go and kill myself. JLF, what is because of why? Huh? What is because of why? This <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because of why is no. becoming too much. Oh. No, because of why it's just an expression. Okay. So, anyways, uh, that's 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 what happened. And um, I got a video club, so I um, couldn't do video club. They said I'm Set football. I'm football. football cause I, movie, movie. <laughs> I always wanted to be an actor, though, but you know, okay. maybe in the future. In the future. Maybe, you know, in the future, I'm still going. So, anyway. Um, Growing up as a kid, um, apart from the culture mm -hmm. and what I was doing, I was also into dancing uh, and I was also into singing because number one, I was in the choir mm -hmm. with my bo bo both of my brothers and my sisters mm -hmm. were in the choir. I was playing keyboard, I was playing drums, both keyboard and drums and also it got to a point that uh, when I was 19... Nine, around 18, 19, mm -hmm. I became the choir master of the choir. Okay. So that's when, that's how I acquired most of my skills and um, improved more into music. But apart from that, also in school, I had a dance dance crew in SIS called DRS. Okay. Um, you know, we were. Um, it was just a group of friends, friends. that uh, some of us were singing, some of us were dancing, and some of us were rapping. So that's why we named the DRS dance rap sing bullshit. I don't even okay. know how we named that nonsense school. <laughs> so but after the crew ended up more of dancing than singing than and singing. rapping. But I wanted to keep the singing and the rapping part. But the dancing took over. Because there was another crew called Young Survivors that we were always clashing with. Young Survivors. Okay. We always clashed with them. And uh, there was a promoter called Jai's promotion, those days time in Dream Park. Yeah. Because you know for the new feature acquired max. Mm -hmm. And then okay. there there came a dance crew called Dragon Ash that came and you know, just facing some other. We didn't even start. We never start, I don't know because of why. We never start. But they killed our vibe. Mm -hmm. So um I can say basically in a, in a, in summing up my childhood, this are most of the bit. I don't, I don't want to go much into details, it will take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So that you understand how most of this thing happened, how I switched from all the all these other things to music. Music. So it's kind of Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I think I find it interesting. Mm -hmm. So J Life, what is your real name? Because people will be like J Life Triple J, J Life Triple J. Uh, What's your name? My real name is Joseph. Okay. Can I speak French? Joseph. Joseph. Jeff T. Zima is my surname. Ow. But I have a middle J. That's for my grandfather. That's Josie. Josie. So that's the triple J. Yeah. Triple J. So Joseph. Josie. Jeff T. Jeff T. Jeff T. Pronounce it in the French way. <laughs> Pronounce French it way. in the French way. Jefté. 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 Comme quoi? Jefté. So, what was the craziest thing that you have ever done during your childhood days? Hey, Mama, you don't want to go into that room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very bad boy. Hmm. Hmm. You don't want to go into that. Just tell us. We want to know. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me go into the, the better ones because <laughs> I want the craziest. No, no, no. Mm. I don't want to go into that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I prefer I prefer talking about the you know the ones we were going to such a mango Dan. and you know than the ones we are going to manual did it in the bungalows. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> You see, even the camera one behind me right now. <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened. So, uh, you know, we did a lot of crazy. I, I did a lot of crazy things as mm -hmm. a kid. I wanted to try almost everything because uh, I can see the family. I was okay. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this though, you know, but my dad mm -hmm. is a pastor. Chai. So imagine, imagine. 
son of a pastor. If you go out for house, then just the lap penis he gave you. So that means so Guinea can if you go out from the house. Ah hmm. trouble. Yeah, 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 you go do everything you want. <laughs> so fuck not them not the you blow what it is, but again you be kid. Because so you be kid, how many? Ah, they just go close door for you. Go inside, yeah. hold your books and study. <laughs> so uh I can say I did a lot of crazy things. Mm -hmm. I don't know that yo, you make bungo to be a buga. Why bungo to be mo? What do you guys prefer? Uh, can know. someone tell me what you prefer? Nah, they don't prefer nothing. They prefer me talking okay. about read your books and study your books. <laughs> you laugh. You choose. Yes. I think someone will like, let him just say about no, that. No, if you choose from good and bad, you will always choose good. Okay, let's go for good. Okay. Good, eh? Okay, good. Um, mm, I can remember once. Mm. Don't build things negative. Mm -hmm. I'm not thinking. Yeah. I'm not even thinking right now. And then after think about the money, money. but you are like, okay, money first before you see somebody's mm -hmm. life. Understand? So, mm -hmm. it's something that... Uh, that was crazy. Yeah. We need to change our attitude, Gambia. So you must be told then you are gonna defer like Of course. Yeah. So enough of that news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what else did you do apart from music? Apart from music. music managing. Uh producing? what do I do apart from music? Mm -hmm. Um I'm a videographer, J Motion. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I shot a lot of new videos, videos, you know, the videos before. Mm -hmm. um, um, I, I do outdoor photo shoots, but I, I can say most of these things are like a hobby to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm also doing, um, I'm also having a band, a semi live band. And I'm also um, doing, I make flyers, mm -hmm. um, therapy advisor, mm -hmm. business planner. Uh, I have things, but not again, 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 again. I'm a side artist, but I'm not an artist. But I'm an artist. But, but yeah, I'm not an artist. artist. Okay. And um, uh, what again? Ugh. I design websites, mm -hmm. but the thing is, um, I'm not focused on that. But I've designed websites for a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. You can I've also do that. So. What inspires you to do music because you are like you are a sad artist? My inspiration of music is from my family because I can say it's running through the blood. Mm -hmm. And footballer uh, maybe you know that can be And then you know fight card bunga hangi then you want to do something else. You can do or do something else. You can do something else. You can do something else. You can I come and sit down and do music because number one, my dad be, was into the choir. My mom also was into music, mm -hmm. and I can say it's my dad be. Uh, there was a time I went back to Cameroon to do some family research about my my back, the background of my family because mm -hmm. man of Yaga stay I don't even know no. nothing about Cameroon again. Okay. Uh, I'm just by living by come understand. Man. Okay, that the okay. stories that my parents were telling me when I was growing up about Cameroon. Okay. So I decided to go back. Uh, and you know, see my family, my grandma, uh, and you know. So when I went back, I, I found out that my dad was one of the first sound engineers in church. Boom, start a long time ago. Okay. He was the one handling their sound, their visuals. Um, time you got handed in the cassette, understand? Edit. You people that edit, time of cassette in the recording, you just slow tape. Fuba, get a dog for home, get a slow tape. Okay. So uh, and the recording, we have maybe another magazine for the maybe different, you know, one, two, three, and new way. Those days, and um, that's how that's how I I knew that okay, when we make a day down, we get the full flower and we get. That's my way. Yeah. So uh, that's I can say the family they are. Yeah. So you were saying that you want a wife that can cook rice and beans. Oh, mm -hmm. tell us your status. My status. Mm. I mean, your relationship status. My relationship status. Mm -hmm. eh. Well, I have people that love me, and I have somebody that loves me. So, well, no. so what about you? I have somebody that loves me. Do you have somebody you love? 
Yes, I have somebody I love. Or you have people you love? I have somebody I love. Okay. That's clear, right? You're not confused right I now. Don't forget, I don't go forget, but you know, somebody loves me and I love the person, but it could be my mom, it could be my dad, it could be my music, <laughs> it could be my girlfriend, it could be my brother, it could be my sister. Jella, you said somebody. Music is not somebody. Music is a person. Music speaks to you. Music talks to you. Music <laughs> hawks you. Music cuddles you. Jayla wants to confuse us. I'm not confused. We should not let ourselves confuse. Mm -mm. You ask me. It's not that I'm not telling you that I don't have a girlfriend. Okay. But I tell you, I'm telling you that somebody loves me and I love the person, but it could be anybody. Okay. It could be anybody. Jayla is trying to confuse me. No, they, they, they did it. Those people that remember, they did it. They did it. They did what? I don't know. <laughs> J life is confusing us. So, how was your family's reaction when you venture into this journey of music and all those stuff? Mm. Mm. I tell you, remember Bobby passed away. Mm -hmm. okay. You will know. <laughs> but I've been passed on. You've been venturing into music. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, who are the first to support you when you uh, try to do this? Um, I, I cannot say I actually had support, but okay. I can say I had people that were there for me. Understand? You know, there's a difference between somebody telling you, the, um, buying you a laptop or doing something mm -hmm. for you, but I can say I had support. No, actually, look, not support. The people that were there for me. For example, you have friends that are always there to encourage you mm -hmm. and, you know, being there for you in the startup of your career. For example, them one K Fly, they were there. They provided a studio for me to to work in. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see the uh, and one state of mic. Uh, the first studio I was in, he's the one that told me, okay, bro, Munga, you small studio. Mm -hmm. Understand me? You know, these are people that are there for you. These are people that Danny was there. You know, um, MLK was the first one that gave me my first PC long time ago. MLK, mm -hmm. though they have mm -hmm. artists. Zero uh, with mm -hmm. Uh, and if I cannot, if I if I if I've not forgotten, I have one of my 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 friend E Flex. He's the one that told me, bro, you're celebrating as a young man, you malakot and all that. Mm -hmm. And he too was an artist before. And okay. you know, I have X D. He's a camera. He's a he's a photographer now. And he was there way long time. I have a lot people, a lot of people that how did you They are just there mm -hmm. keeping you on track. Okay. Okay, so uh, before going on a break, I know you want to hear some of the songs that he himself sang and some of the songs that he himself produced. But before that, JLF, I want you to rate the gun music industry. Over 100. I'll give you 100 right now. 100. Sorry to say that because I love gun music. I'll give you 100 over 100. In fact, I'll add another 50%, 150 over 100. Or 50 over 150. Over. Not what uh, Because everybody is doing great right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's... Uh, I cannot say competition. A uh, competition for Muneka mm -hmm. but I see that everybody is working hard enough. Stylish from the producers to the artists to the promoters to the presenters. Nowadays, you are seeing blogs. I like the idea of this gam gam shade room. Mm -hmm. You know, exposing people. These are things we need. We need bloggers mm -hmm. and uh, Gypsy Industry Bilaboka. We need. They need I beef. Understand? They mm -hmm. need I fight. Put an ahead industry with that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's sure. why I said I will read it 100. Over 100. You can see Ben 50, so Ben 100, 200. Mm -hmm. Because everybody is doing their work. Although you get criticized and then you get booted and then you know all of that. But still, everybody is working hard. Like, so there is internet, you actually see everybody putting work, fancy and get support. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, Atap dropped his song, and you know, I saw everybody who seen dropped his song. Like, you can feel. So they can add, first one, for example, you kind of feel proud, mm -hmm. you know, I don't blame them to, you know, you know, you have to feel proud because, you know, you have your people supporting you, Your life, I have people that message me always, yo bro, I like your music, I know it's the same with other uh, producers, Uchi and all the other people that are out there, who are supporting them, and even Gambians, you know, I'm the outside, you know, I'm really happy for all the Gambians that are outside, and supporting Gambian music from outside, and um, if I got on the corona, if, if corona didn't happen, by this time you would have seen uh, either me and my band and Miss Jobis, we would be playing, we would be going for tour and, you know, playing uh, in, in other countries in Europe, uh, you know, because the Gambian people over there, you know, liked 
a lot of her stuff and they wanted mm -hmm. to invite her there for festivals. Uh, I am really happy about that. Seven festival inviting her. Come, this are a lot. You know, before we are not having this. That's why no. I would say that right now, you know, there's a lot going on. DJs, DJ coming. We have all the DJs that are putting in a lot of work. Mm -hmm. People that, you know, videos, time of know, super graphics. Was all super graphics after STS menu. Now mm -hmm. you have. KD, you have Gando, you have XD, you have Cinetrix. Everybody, I'm really, really, really happy about it. You know, all the money now, you know, but you know, everybody is doing their work, and I'm really, really happy about it. I mean, you say, I'm here to study. 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 I'm So, you know, everybody is happy. Jelai do them. I'm telling you guys. Jelai, no, I'm do them. I'm going to have my belt and my tackle. My belt, my feet. I'm going to do my belt. I'm going to do my belt. This is your favorite so-called celeb creep. So, with your favorite host, Mariam Sisa. And today, I'm having a Jelai. As my celebrity, or is it Joseph here? Yeah, his name is Joseph. I'm using Joseph because yeah, I, I want to see their life boy. behind the. I, I will reveal it. I want to see their life behind this. Uh, prof behind their professionals, their life behind the scenes. And yes, of course, we just go with a break and let's just do some little stuff here. Stay tuned. It's Gambian Talent TV, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Let's go again. Let me love you Girl, I do mind to give you all I got She won't control you Love all the way you want and am brush on my back Let me love you Girl, I do mind to give you all I got She won't control you Love all the way you want and am brush on my back I'm gonna rock your body Girl, I'm gonna rock your body I'm gonna rock your body I'm gonna rock your body
welcome back welcome back i hope you enjoyed that was a martin there it was already late j life that was late yeah i do i do one i love most was the mariama it's who the mariama sister i do not sing that mariana for you it's for me i'm the only mariama in the building right now okay in the building we have another mariama <laughs> Okay, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is favorite show, the celeb crew with your host, Mariam Sisa. Of course, today my celeb of the day is J Alive, Triple J, Joseph. Yes, I said I will repeat in those names over and over. A manager, a producer, a song composer, uh, half artist, a dancer, then. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 I'm not a, a dancer. rapper, then. A footballer, then. You are a, a footballer, then. And now he's a producer, a manager, and half artist. Okay, uh, J Life, what are some of the things that you're working on right now? Uh, well, right now, um, 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 one of the main things I'm working on right now is building my semi life bar. Um, and uh, it's, it's really, really hectic on not actually me, but my team, because we have a lot of things to settle down. Uh, last time we went to do the registration with arts and culture. And as you can see in my studio, she, when, she, when she started this way, she was in my studio, she was messy. Actually, Muhammad, I don't understand how messy because what cable is rubber? And uh, my there's a lot of mix and mix. I, I bagashi you because you know we have been rehearsing. We did our first live session, we recorded our first live session like uh, five, six, about, uh, let me say last week. Mm -hmm. And we are about to record our other uh, next live session mm -hmm. and it will be, up it will be uploaded on YouTube. So right now we are really, really working hard and, um, you know, that's one of my main things right now mm -hmm. I'm working with. The other thing is my headache. What is that? My joy mm. and my future. That's mm -hmm. the Kalajula album. Let me repeat it again. The Kalajula the album. album. A banger. Let me it again. The Kalajula album. Should I repeat it again? No, it's okay. It's okay. I hope you get that. The and, uh, album. There are other stuff, but I can say these are one of the main things that are up right now. And also, not forgetting my video company called J Motion. I'm really building it up. Actually, it's not a full company, but it's under XD. Okay. J Motion is under J Live Music, but J Motion is in collaboration with XD. XD. Yeah, come down, Apparantella. Apparantella. But you know, Make mm. boss. Tell us your song uh, with. Uh, tell us about your song with um, Big Fa Material. Uh, Why Material? You, you know, you know, you know. I, 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 I was, I was just you know Mate. That was a time I can remember. I was driving on the streets. Yes, uh, hmm. and um, I was the man on coffee being a junction man. So they even a park over. I've done. I'm not even left a crowd. I'm in your top box mode. So, I wanted to fight, but I got a maskini, mm -hmm. and the guy was punka. So, I would just be saying so, so that you understand. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Aknum Tampong is my motobi, motobi, you know, I'm po 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 and you know, but he was all protected with his helmet, mm -hmm. and he was all huge up, and then, you know, understand that. So, he was acting all the material, and, you know, the people in the car with me, they were like, yo, man, I'm a tap it. No, you want me to go and kill myself? I don't want to die now. And I smoke and be right now, as you can see. I'm looking for that family now come up propose to me with rice and beans. So, uh, I don't want to spoil this face. I'm going to say any right now. Yo, except my room, but I go for a small bubble while I blocks. Can I jump back here? And um, so I didn't want to fight the guy. I was acting all cool, and the guy was acting all tough. And you know, because I'm the plus he ride on me from Ghana, I felt so he was saying that man, I'm going to say and all that. I was like, no, bro, you know, hit you with the mega fool from now. And he was acting all tough. So when I was in the car, I had that instrumental. I already, I already made that beat before. Mm -hmm. So when I was in the in the car, then a friend of my, my manager, mm -hmm. Mams, boy, send my beat, beat, boy. I would cut. I don't want to say that. I would put in there, you know, and I saw it. Just mute that. So, um, Nola, Nola was in a bit, bit, and then, you know, he actually did the song. But I would have preferred doing the song with Attack. But okay. actually, he killed the song. Like, mm -hmm. I really like what he did on the song, and that's when I love the song more. And, you know, so. I know. Hey, Lulu. Mm -hmm. It's a long story, but I mm. cut it short. You cut it short. Mm -hmm. 
that's how he does his summary. I don't know which teacher taught him um, English during his summary. senior school. Two summary. <laughs> so tell us about Sukadebo with A2. Sukadebo. Uh, Sukadebo, uh, I featured A2 on that song. Although A2 is more like a song, but I featured a song. It's like some DJ Kali type of, you know what I mean? Where it mm -hmm. came to. Right. So um, Sukadebo was uh, a song that uh, I and A2 wrote together. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually, um, we were in the studio vibing. I told him, yo, that was the time I was telling most of these artists that I want to start featuring artists on song. Whether I do the chorus or where I don't do the chorus or whether I write the song or not, mm -hmm. I want to uh, start doing that. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got to it. He said, boy, so in my studio. And then he, one day he closed from work and he asked me when I'm free. I told him, right now I'm in the studio doing nothing. I'm tired of, you know, mixing. So when he was in the studio, we were chatting and then, you know, we just came up with that idea. That's how Sikadebo was built up. It's nothing hard. So. Mm. Something soft. Yeah. What's about the uh, Valentine Love? Valentine Love. Uh, Valentine Love. Uh, I, was, I wanted to do something for, for the Valentine people mm -hmm. uh, in February. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking of doing something because anybody, a lot of people that are forcing me to be an artist. I don't want to be an artist now. Like, but new money, bros, kidding, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Although people don't listen to my song, but they listen to my song. But they actually listen to my song, but they don't yeah. listen to my song. Yeah, I understand. So uh, I tried doing something, and at the end of the day, I've been a chorus of people, but I'm tired. I'm tired. Always, no more than that. So I called Miss Joby Sonic, and you know, she works with uh, with a band. Mm -hmm. She told me to watch a job. So I watch a job. She was all shouting in the studio. Ah, I said, what is the problem? It's a stupid song. She was like, yo, I'm all off it. Blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, we did the verse. Like, always how we walk. I brought up melodies. You know, she brought up her idea. How we always share our day in the studio. She came up with her verse. And then she recorded her verse. Then I mixed the song. And I dropped the song that night. It was before Valentine. The next day before Valentine. Okay. So I dropped the song. And then in the night, I was listening to the song over and over. Then I did not sleep. And then around 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, she messaged me. She, she must send me a message. Yo, send me money. I want to ask you, I'm going to ask you, no problem. I need a music video. That's how I took my camera. We just went to the beach. Come then, there was a big video. I'm going to make up artists. Then there was a big video. I'm going video. That's when Small Boy became my ex day. Okay. He, he was having a photo shoot somewhere else, so he could not help me out with the shoot. But in the end of the video, um, then we know Jack and then we know come chill me, right? Come, anybody, it's not anybody in the come official video. Yeah, actually, yeah. See, what I wanna say. So now, if you look at the story, mm -hmm. you understand how the song came about. So, but I wanted to feature Attack. I tried to get to Attack, but I think maybe he was busy working on a project. So, mm -hmm. uh, one day I just went to a show and I met with Big Fat. And I told him, listen to the song. And he listened to the song. Boy, send my big big boy. I'm a cut. Mm -mm, I don't want to see that. I want to put in there. You know, I'm mm -hmm. you know. Just mute that. So, um, no, no lack of singing a bit. And then, you know, he actually did the song. But I would have preferred doing the song with Attack. But okay. actually, he killed the song. Like, mm -hmm. I really like what he did on the song. And that's when I love the song more. And, you know. You know I know. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a long story, but I cut it short. You cut it short. Mm -hmm. That's how he does his summary. I don't know which teacher taught him um, English during his summary. senior school. Two summary. <laughs> so tell us about Sukadebo with A2. Sukadebo. Uh, Sukadebo, uh, I featured A2 on that song. Although A2 is more like a song, but I featured a song. It's like some DJ Kali type of, you know what I mean, where it mm -hmm. came to. So, um, Suka Debo was uh, a song that uh, I and it wrote together. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually, um, we were in the studio vibing. I told him, yo, that was the time I was telling most of these artists that I want to start featuring artists on song. Whether I do the chorus or where I don't do the chorus or whether I write the song or not, mm -hmm. I want to uh, start doing that. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got to it. He said, boy, so put it in your studio. And then he, one day he closed from work and he asked me when I'm free. I told him, right now I'm in the studio doing nothing. I'm tired of, you know, mixing. So when he was in the studio, we were chatting and then, you know, we just came up with that idea of Sukadebo. Sukade. That's how Sukadebo was built up. It's nothing hard. So. Mm. Something soft. 
What about the uh, Valentine love? Valentine love. Uh, Valentine love. Uh, I was. I wanted to do something for for the Valentine people mm -hmm. uh, in February. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking of doing something because anybody, a lot of people that are forcing me to be an artist. I don't want to be an artist, like. But new money, bros, kid, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Although people don't listen to my songs, but they listen to my songs. But they actually mm -hmm. listen to my songs, but they don't yeah. listen to my songs. Yes, I understand. So uh, I tried doing something, and at the end of the day, I'm not being that courageous for it. Matayar, be that was. Always, no one did that. So I called Miss Joby so negative. You know, she works with uh, with a band. Mm -hmm. She told me she watch a job, then a job. So watch a job. She was all shouting in the studio. Ah, so what is the problem? It's a stupid song. She was like, you know, love it, blah, blah, blah. Then, you know, we did a verse, like always how we walk. I brought up melodies, you know. Camera man, you know, hang on, then go, 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 I don't think any one alone that we're jail and low lower. They are looking at a dog a little. It's gonna be mad, yeah. You're going to be in a better place. So, what will be your final message? Because we are almost at the end of the show. I hope you're enjoying it with J Life, I mean, Triple J. On the whole, he's. This is the Triple J. This is the J Life, Joseph. So, what will be your final message before we close in? For the show. My final message is mm -hmm. uh, thanking you and the crew and the TV station uh, for you know granting this opportunity because you know, I can say it's an opportunity you know mm -hmm. to you know spend time and you know talk to people and you know people that are going to be watching the show mm -hmm. and I thank everybody also not actually it's not a waste of time mm -hmm. for sitting down to actually watch the whole show and also thanking all the people that have put in even one dollar in my career if mm -hmm. I cannot remember you at this maybe number one I'm in a digital TV you know understand I'm going to buy my leaf and uh, Keyfly I want to take Keyfly them one state of mic um, and one uh, Danny Constant Miss Jobis, my management team, XD, Fafa, Kumade Kot. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to thank Eflex, all the people that always were saga in me and believing in me, MLK. I want to thank my dad, my mom for, you know, taking care of me, although I was stubborn. Uh, I want to thank my band crew. I want to thank every single person. I want to thank Baba God for giving me life. I want to thank my stomach for not disappointing me. I'm And um, I want to thank Dan, even Camera Mirsa. I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to say I always like thanking people, like, if you don't know me. Uh, I'm somebody that likes giving credits to I'm each thanking and things. Yeah, thanking things. Shout outs to everybody out there, producer, mm -hmm. artists, doing your work. Keep on doing what you're doing. Never feel discouraged. Understand? Like, like you know, every time nobody wants to coconut, we don't touch our water. But still, we don't touch our water. We don't touch our water. Yeah, coconut. We don't touch our water. Hey, I'm very talented. I want to tell you the story. <laughs> Since we started, so we get coconut dance over here. Coconut boom dance over here. That's some actually when coconut dance one spot. Don't let the coconut be big. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It's a very nice day with J Life. It was not tough. I called him and everything went easy. So I'm thanking him very much. He's also very cool. Thank you for watching. And of course, till we come your way next time, stay tuned. It's Gambian Talents TV, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. And of course, with your favorite girl or your favorite host, Mariam Zisa, as I always do. Just Drop your comment on the comment box and of, of course don't forget to subscribe and throw, uh, click on the notification bell so that anytime we drop a video you will get to know that there is a video dropping right there. Okay, till we come your way next time. Bye bye for now.
Ahmad <laughs> Nous sommes tous les petit exécutif directeur. Madi Jobate, the human rights activist. Nous sommes Sanex Bonnie Transfer ño len indil xewal bu reere jëbalé ko ci tebeuski bi ñoy digmal légui sey mbok ak sa ay am di jamm mën nañ la yone xaliss bayé ko fofu ci Europe US Canada wala Switzerland té duñ ci fay dara waaw liko waral moy mbotay yu né kay xaliss bi gëna maga ci Gambia ño len ko indil gawna worna napalena té amul ben jafé jafé bi ci nek kon nak yeen mbok yi ak am jamay jaratut ngeen di xalaat ci bolen di yone xaliss fi ci bir rewi gambia bayeko fofu ci europe us